So this is a, another yard that is absolutely phenomenal. So driving up the road, we were like, we were thinking maybe this is multiple properties because there's just cars lined up. So this is gonna be multiple, multiple videos here of this place. And um, I don't know how too in depth we're gonna get. This is, so the aerial view that we looked online, I'll insert photo now. So you can see it was probably taken a while ago because there's a lot of trees out here, which kind of makes this a little bit of a pain in the butt, but there's some stuff that you just can't not see. They said that a lot of their stuff out here is Mustangs, as you can see. But on our drive up, there was um, a lot of 30s, 40s, 50s era stuff. So that's what I'm really interested in getting. But um, for now, and maybe just this entirety of this portion of this video, might just be Mustangs. I don't know. But these guys, they part everything out. I did ask because... Um, we go to some yards, you know, like coolies, they're not really interested in selling a lot of the stuff out there. Um, or they're not really interested in shipping, that kind of stuff. These guys said that they run an eBay store as well. And they said everything out here is fair game. Oh, look at that. See, this is why I say it's worth walking back here. Now, guys, I'm not an avid Mustang enthusiast to be able to tell you exact years as much as I want to guess. I mean, I can tell you this was either a 67. No, let's see if maybe I shouldn't guess. Uh, but I mean, fastback, you know, get a hold of them, take just the roof. There's hoods, there's headlight buckets. A lot of this interior does look pretty rough. Um, my gosh, this is pretty crazy. So it does kind of stink at how much foliage there is out here because I feel like this would be pretty crazy. Yo, Drake, look at the fastback. Want it. There's a 70. Yeah, I mean, there's convertibles, there's hard, or uh, coupes, there's fastbacks. There's everything. And I don't know these guys well enough to where I don't feel comfortable getting too crazy. He, I mean, he basically just said, if you open a hood, shut it. If you open the door, shut it. But I mean, coolies, I know them a lot better, so I feel more comfortable, like climbing around through stuff. Oh look, more Mustangs. Gosh, yeah, those trees are... I can deal with weeds, but trees, you just can't see past anything. There's another fastback. 65, 6. That's kind of wild to me because, like, there's another one. Nice head. Um, go to Cooley's and they've only got, like, three, four Mustangs and I think, like, one of them's a fastback. Yeah, so there are some buildings. Yeah, I guess they weren't kidding when they said they had Mustangs out here. Um, there was, oh, there's a 69 Fastback. It's kind of wild because it's like I see worse things up for sale <laughs> than are sitting in this yard.
I want to be able to get into all this center section here. I just don't know how much it's worth digging around in there if you're not going to be able to see anything. I feel like it'd be good if you were physically here, you know, going through stuff. I just don't know how much you're going to see on video. This one? Yeah. Uh, it's like the Mustang 2, so the body style after like the 70. They're ugly, I think. Surprisingly enough, in like the last two years, they have come up in price. Oh, look at that. It's full of parts. Convertible? Nope. Just has the top cut off. <laughs> so this whole section in here must be Mustangs. So I kind of want to just swoop all of the Mustang sections. Just so we can make like one Mustang video. I mean, if they've got that much of just Mustangs. Oh, Fox body. It's kind of cool, too, because they have variety. You know, it's not just all, like, 64. Yeah, they got, like, the small, little, whatever you're that way. Yeah, that fox body there. No, no, like, the older one. Like, these, like, this one? Like, the little Mustangs. Yeah, that'd be, like, a 64 to 65. Yeah, like, the little fucking... Okay, about an hour. Yeah, bigger stuff. Here's 69. Is it a... Uh, nope, it's a coupe. What am I tripping on? Goodness. Oh, guys, look. Mustang. Oh, like, here's another fastback. Oh, we're going to go through the jungle here. Hold on, guys. <laughs> another fastback. Blue one is a 70, but it's fastback. Yeah, grabber blue. Oh, it's been repainted. It's not the factory color. But still. Oh, yeah, the quarters are rotted out. Which I expected, but... Oh, yeah, there is. Dang it. Oh, I gotta show fastbacks because that's what everyone wants. Alright, you guys better watch this video for how much I gotta climb through all this crap. Oh, here's another fastback. This is freaking wild. Yep, another one. 70. And another one. Well, that's got a scoop in the side, so that's 69. Let's see what it's got. Missing the whole front clip. Oh, there is. See? Um, I'm gonna go. I'm trapped. All right, guys, like I said, going through the jungle. Oh, yeah. It's still a little bit early, too, so everything's covered in dew. So I keep getting sprayed in the face. Here's another fastback. My goodness. All right. Oh, now we're getting to the uglies. Make some people mad by saying that. Oh, well, guess what? It's a fastback. There was another one back there too. I I got sidetracked because I saw another fastback. Um, by the end of this, I'm not even going to care about Mustang fastbacks anymore. I'm just going to be like, oh, okay. Hold on, hold on. We're going through the trees again. I promise it's worth it. There you have it.
69 fastback. And go through the trees. We feel like this junkyard exploration is turning more into a hunting video. Whew. Made it into a clearing. Look at that fastback. <laughs> 70. Ooh, a 69 fastback. Yeah, this is like so is cool and disappointing at the same time. Oh, all these have been right, like, and you know, honestly, it's like there's not anything worth doing to any of them other than parts. Right. But it's just still sad because it's like, you know, it took me forever to find a Mustang Fastback to build. Exactly, the second time. <laughs> and then here, you know, there's just like 50 of them in the first 11 minutes of us walking. That's the other thing, is I was looking for parts before, and I couldn't find any. And this is 40 minutes from my house to here. 40. That's all it was. Yeah, that's further away, or that's closer than my shop. <laughs> I drive more every day to go to work. Well, I almost panned over to the other side of the road. They almost saw the wrong stuff. Guys, this is a Mustang only video. I'm not going over across there yet. Um, you can't look over there, Drake. <laughs> I can, I just won't pan the camera. It's crazy too, cause like, I don't, I guess I'm curious what they charge on their uh, quarter extension, headlight buckets, whatever you want to call them. Because I get like 150 to $250 a piece off eBay for them if they're loaded. And they're just copious amounts of them sitting out here. Oh my gosh, dude. Drake, there's still just like... So many fast. Yeah. You just look up there and it's just like, fast back, fast back, fast back. So, where we met this guy was at an auction for some other stuff. Other Mustang. Yeah, because it, it was mostly a Mustang sale there. And um, we just got lucky enough to overhear him talking to somebody about this place that he owns and we're like hey can we like check it out and he's like yeah it's open to everyone this thing was probably fast in this day look at it so they got massive scoop roll cage built-in sunroof so this is something like i wish i could know the story on oh look at their like etched glass that's kind of wild even had the pins for the yeah this thing was fast so anyways we we asked this guy like can we see this stuff and he's like yeah come on up anytime this was a couple months ago but we finally got up here this is just wild um but the the auction that we met the guy at was uh an older friend of mine i had met i don't know seven six years ago yeah probably about seven years ago dude this is insane right here guys i'm gonna pause for a minute because i want this as no maybe i won't but look at this fast back fast back fast back fast back fast back that's so crazy to me our part of the world man we don't see much for fast back mustangs in yards like at all so this is just kind of crazy to me I know, I'm trying to figure out like a good area that really shows off all the all the poop stains. Gosh, these things are cool cars. Like for old cars, I like small. You know, that's why I like the Mustang, the Nova. They're ones that really...
stood out to me. Oh, hello. Look at that. Huh. Interesting. Um, the, the Novas in the Mustangs, I always really liked because they were small. They're not like the big old freaking Chargers and Challengers or even like my 66 Impalas and stuff like that. Like, they're really cool, but they're just so big. I don't know, something about the smaller car just appealed to me more. So I tangented away off course. So the guy that the auction was for, uh, Wayne, I had met him because he bought a Mustang from me. And then he's actually the one that introduced us to like the um, Jefferson swap meet and everything. He's like, yeah, you got to go. And he passed away about a year ago, which really sucks. But he did phenomenal, phenomenal Mustang work. But he would cut, you know, fastback roofs off and put them onto Mustang coops and make them fastbacks. I've always wanted to try it, but then I read into it and then everything online was like, it's really hard. So I never tried it. But that guy, he would do work for other guys and some of these cars would go to Barrett Jackson and get a quarter million dollars. So I don't know all the technical stuff about the which ones were more rarities and stuff. I, I thought in our talking, he had said something about like, there's usually one that the guy would bring in was like a 68 fastback that was some special green color that was more rare. So that's what the guy would buy and then have him build. Oh, now we're getting into the, the gross stuff. <laughs> I don't like any of these Mustangs. I had a Fox body, so 87 and a half, um, convertible, 5.0, five speed, and that car you could not start out in first gear, because it would just spin, and it was fast, but I do not like the looks of those cars, they are ugly. Look at that reinforced bar, good old fiberglass. That's how you know you're safe when you hit something. So I'm not going to lie. I wore nice clothes today because I was like, we won't be doing anything other than junkyard, junkyard exploration. Yeah, okay. And then um, we're in the freaking jungle. So that's fun. I know, that's why I was thinking if we would have came at a better time. Um, all right, guys, I'm going to break the video here to figure out how we get out and start looping again. Okay, so actually, we only came out from, like, right there. But I try not to paint over to the other stuff, the non-Mustang stuff, because I'm trying to keep these videos separate. Here's a Mustang. Don't look at anything else. Oh, I'm looking off to the other stuff because I like that stuff. There's some cool stuff over there. You know, so what's crazy is, again, go back to that aerial view, insert clip now, and you can see how much of the stuff that we definitely, definitely missed. So, like, if you... Oh, now there's Mustangs on this side. Holy crap. If you're a Mustang enthusiast, I mean, I don't know how much of a pain in the butt it is for you to come here. But if you're a Mustang enthusiast, I would freaking come here. This is incredible. Like, they probably have as many Mustangs here as Coolies has in just cars. Yeah, Drake, so this is like, if we would have went right 
at the beginning of cell left. Because I think if I remember correctly from that aerial, there's like a loop around the center section and it just kind of branches off after that. So somebody had mentioned, they're like, you should get a drone. And I 110% agree with this. I was actually talking to my wife about it. The only hard thing is, I don't make jack off these videos. And the good drone that we would want, because I mean, like we don't want a $50 Walmart one that's got 10 minutes of charge and a 30 foot range. Like we want to be able to go up and actually follow. There's uh, one that our friend has that actually like, we can program to lock on us. So it would just go up in the sky and just follow us around, you know, while panning over the video and stuff like that. So basically, almost all self-sustaining are like 1500 bucks. So if you guys can share the videos like crazy, so you get a lot of views, I can take the little nickels and dimes we make off them, add it all up, and uh, get some drone footage for better videos. Wireless mics is another thing that somebody has suggested and it's again, the same boat. This area doesn't seem as nice as the other part. Oh, now we're into the older stuff again. And now it's all trees. So. Wow. Yeah, I mean like, I'm not even going back in there I don't even know how many Mustangs they have. I'm just still kind of dumbfounded by this. I might Drake, have to go freaking drop my hoodie. I'm like sweating. <clears throat> oh yeah, there's like more fastbacks in there. The problem is, is it gets a little sketchy to get back there from where we're at. Ooh, not a Mustang, but golly, look at that shell. Hmm, yep, like those. Hey, guess what? Fastback. Man, this is crazy. Well, guys, I think for the Mustang video here, I think we're probably going to say that's going to conclude um, anything else that we find this Mustang. Because there was a lot more that we saw branched off into other areas. We're probably just going to add in with the other cars. Because this was kind of like the coolest part that I could see of the Mustangs. They said that there's another 175 acres across the field. And then we didn't touch on probably, I don't know. I don't even know. There's a lot. So, keep watching for other videos of more Mustang stuff and just other vehicles.